Okay, let's begin the day with talking about some stocks. And Nimesh is here first up to tell us why he's watching Kotak Mahindra Bank this morning. Nimesh, over to you. Hi, morning, Sonia. So, Kotak Mahindra Bank is in focus because Canada, Canada Pension Fund is looking to sell 1.6% stake via block deal today. Uh, the book indicates uh, the, the discount up to 5%, 5%. Uh, you know, compared to yesterday's closing price. But I think the execution will be important. If the deal happens in the block window with just 1% discount, you will see some short covering as well because the market was anticipating a large block in Kotak Mahindra Bank. So, that's something to, to, to track. Uh, having said that, even after to, uh, this block deal, uh, Canada Pension Fund will continue to own 3%. For which now they have a lockup of another uh, 180 days, which means for the next six months they can't sell further. Uh, as far as liquidity is concerned, uh, I was looking at a Novama note, and they say that MSA is unlikely to make any changes uh, with regards to the weight. And FTSE, uh, if you remember, has been uh, you know increasing the weight uh, on a regular basis. So FTSE, re uh, FTSE uh, reaction could be important to track. But as far as MSA is concerned, no change as for the Novama note. But a large block at a discount. So need to see how the deal gets executed. Okay, all right, Namesh, thanks a lot uh, for that. Uh, well, Vivek joins us to tell us about Tata Power as well as HAL. Morning, Vivek. Well, good morning. You know, Tata Power is in focus on the back of the fact that the renewable energy arm has gone and received an LOA, a letter of award from Tata Steel. Now, this is to set up a 966 megawatt renewable power project, which entails a mix of both uh, solar as well as wind. Solar will comprise almost 379 megawatts, and wind will comprise close to 587 megawatts. Now, this is a large industrial round-the-clock power project under the group Capital Energy, and the company claims it could be one of the largest ever in the Indian market. Uh, the other stock on our radar is Hindustan Aeronautics. Uh, interesting development. Uh, the board is going to consider a stock split on June 27th. Now, remember, 2023 has been quite an eventful year. The stock has been an outperform up almost 40 percent stock entered the msi standard index and also uh, the company did do a small offer for sale in order to meet the minimum public shareholding stock has outperformed even since the ofs all right uh, vivek thanks very much uh, for that now sonal is joining in she's got her eyes on aether industries and biocon sonal tell us more morning good morning prashant for aether industries they had signed an loi or letter of intent back in march and now they say that uh, agreement has been finally signed it is an agreement with saudi aramco technology for the commercialization of sustainable converged polyols technology uh, so that loi has been converted into an agreement the company says uh, there is a significant revenue potential here with higher volume so that is something we'll be tracking closely for this one for biocon there is a good news where company's Bengaluru API manufacturing facility has um, received good manufacturing practice compliance certificate from a competent authority in Germany. Uh, and the facility has gone under this inspection in February this year. And this has come through. So that's why that stock will be in focus as well. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Well, Vivek is uh, here to tell us about more stocks that are in the news this morning. Vivek, what all is on your list? Well, quite a few stocks uh, on the radar. You know, NHPC is in focus. Uh, the slew of announcements regarding the pump storage uh, continues. So, uh, if the company's arm, NHDC, has got a 525 megawatt pump storage uh, uh, LOA. You know, this is for a site in Madhya Pradesh. Watch out for capacity in front. You know, the company has gone ahead and raised almost 96 crore via preferential issue. The list of bidders here is, uh, you know, is, uh, quite uh, stark, given the fact that Param Value Investors uh, has picked up almost 50 crores. Uh, Mr. Vikas Kemani has subscribed to 25 crore and Capri Global Holding has also subscribed to 5 crore within the preferential issue. The others comprising the rest. Uh, also keep an eye out for both the IRB twins, IRB Infra as well as IRB Invit. Uh, May revenue toll collections continue their strong uptrend up 20 percent for IRB Infra. IRB Invit has seen a 9 percent uptick. And lastly, Snowman Logistics, yesterday an interesting bulk deal there. The promoter, uh, which is, you know, Gateway District Parks, has gone ahead and increased their stake by around 0.8%. They picked up 14 lakh shares at 43 rupees a share yesterday. Okay, thanks a lot for that. So let's do a quick, uh, you know, recap of all the stocks that we're looking at. Stocks with positive news flow, the Startup Power, HAL, Aether Industries, Biocon, NHPC, Capacity Infra, IRB Infra, IRB Invit and Snowman Logistics. Well, the only stock with negative news flow, of course, because of the impending uh, stake sale by CPP, is Kotak Mahindra Bank. But let's also get a handle on what's happening in the world of commodities. Manisha Gupta is joining in for a roundup of all the action there. Manisha, the world of crude has been largely supported. Uh, the prices have been supported. Uh, but tell us this morning, how are things looking? Oh, well, yeah, $70 a barrel is still holding. But, you know, overnight, we did see the prices decline 
four and a half percent after news that U.S. and Iran reached a temporary nuclear agreement that would allow Iran to resume oil exports of around one million barrels per day. However, both the countries denied the report, causing oil prices to recoup most of those Thursday losses. But even then, with that, overnight we saw nearly three percent of decline. Asia has seen some buying coming in, but even with that, the crude prices are headed for a second weekly decline. What is headed for a second weekly gain, though, is the gold and silver prices. Gold gained one percent overnight, and silver is now. trading at a four week highs within the metal space copper steel iron ore all of these metals are trading in the positive in anticipation of a stimulus coming in from china all right uh, <clears throat> manager thank you very much uh, for that we'll take a quick commercial break here ajay borke will join in for some fundamental stock talk later we'll connect with the management of team lease uh, to talk about hiring trends and how business for team lease is panning out motilal has upgraded the stock recently to a buy stay tuned for those conversations coming up